Serving up big, unoptimized images is one of the leading factors that will hurt your website's performance. It's gonna cause your website to load very slow. And when it does that, your users are gonna be super frustrated. Before they even interact with your page, they're gonna to wanna to leave. We can fix that. Today, we're working in a Remix application, which uses the native image tag. And we can pair that with Cloudinary's URL generator SDK, optimize our images based on format and quality to improve the performance of your website. So here we are in a Remix application, and as you can see, we're loading our image directly from Unsplash, and let's see what that experience looks like. If I refresh the page, you'll see that the image is almost 7 megabytes, and it loads in about 6 seconds. So let's see how we can improve this. First step is to upload your image to Cloudinary. I've done so right here in a folder called Cloudinary Optimized Demo, and I've got the image uploaded. You can copy the link with this button right here, and now we can change the source to use the Cloudinary image. Back in our application, we'll paste the URL of the image in Cloudinary, and we'll see how it affects the load times. Refreshing the page shows not much difference. It's still the same size, almost seven megabytes, and loads in about the same amount of time. But now we have the power of Cloudinary at our hands, so let's jump back into the application and start optimizing our image. We'll use the Cloudinary SDK to generate a URL for our image and apply optimizations to it. This is a Remix application, so we'll head up to the loader, where I already have the SDK initialized to my cloud. We can define an image using the Cloudinary SDK with the image function, which accepts an argument, which is the folder name that we created called the Cloudinary Optimize Demo and the name of the image, which was DJ. Here's where we can apply some optimizations. First, let's automatically format our image by chaining on the dot format method and providing it the auto keyword. This will automatically choose the best format for our image, like WebP or JPEG. Let's also automatically optimize the quality of our image by again chaining the dot quality function on and giving it the auto argument. Cloudinary will automatically figure out the best quality for your image. And finally, we can take this image and generate a URL by using the to URL method at the end. Like all Remix applications, we'll take the DJ image URL and pass it through to the client using the JSON method. Over in our client, we'll call use loader data and we can pull the DJ image URL out of the loader data. And now we can use this generated URL as the image source. Going back to our application and refreshing the page shows that the type of the image is now WebP and the size has been reduced by about half from 6.8 down to 3.2 megabytes, which has definitely improved the load time. However, we're still loading too large of an image for what we're actually displaying. If you check the size of the image, we're only actually displaying it at 1,280 pixels wide, but its intrinsic size that we're downloading is still almost 8,000 pixels wide. Vladinary can help us there as well. By coming back to the SDK, we can now chain a resize function, which allows us to scale our image to a width of 1,280 pixels, which is exactly what we're showing to the user. Now going back to our application and refreshing the page brings the size down to only 120 kilobytes, drastically improving our load time down to 389 milliseconds, way better than the seven seconds we started with. In the next video, we'll show you how to use the Cloudinary upload widget in a Remix application to make uploading images to Cloudinary super easy.